Yes, meditate until next loop. Because we need to get to Ash Twin and the Sunless City as quickly as Hearthianly possible. <laughs> It's really funny when the loop is like two seconds long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. Hey, Quantum. Right, let's roll. So, High Energy Lab is the agenda. So, let's try and get there as quick as we can. And pray. Bye, probe. And pray that goes alright. There's the hourglass. Let's go. Lock on. There we go. I keep pressing R3 to try and activate the lock on. So there's... I say, I actually pointed with my physical hand. <laughs> that is the sun station that they were worried about building because they think it could cause the annihilation of everything. So I wonder if that's what's causing the sun to so rapidly go into supernova. Although that doesn't explain why all of the other stars around seem to be supernovaing as well. Right, so Sunless City entry point. Oh shit, no. Controls sometimes escape me. So, oh shit. This wasn't what I planned on doing, but... Because <laughs> I'm in trouble. Oh! I see graph crystals down there. Down ship. Okay, good. I think we're good. Don't know if this is the best way trying to get there, a way we didn't test before, but this path leads somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sunless City. I'm gonna take a hazardous guess that this pathway is blocked by ghost matter. So we can go that way. Crash site caves. Hmm. I do wonder if I done messed up my trying to get there as quick as I can by getting sidetracked. But I believe we can make this work. So I essentially just need to find the crash site and then work my way from there. So here's the locator, there's the crash site, I can see the beam. Re up on fuel. Yeah, almost holding one. Alright, let's roll. So let's see if I can remember the directions to Sunless on my own. So I believe it's this one. Yes. It is weird how much of this place you could get lost in. Uh, so it's forwards, sand, left, I believe through the. Probably shouldn't be using up all my fuel. Uh, then up. Out of here. And then just kind of through the sand. Uh, and then I believe it's just over there. I did it! So this is the Sunless City. Launch mode. Okay. So we're going to explore the very bottom of this first and work our way up. And see if anything's... missing. Because this place begins to fill very quickly. What is this? Is this the high energy lab? Yes. So this is all the way down here, so you need to kind of haul ass to get here. Anything else interesting quick? I do not believe so. Well, this is today's job. <laughs> or, oh, this loop's job. I'm going to follow this cable, because I believe that's what they want me to do. Because I imagine you can get lost in here otherwise. Um. Ah, oh, that sucks. I need to actually wait for this. Because if I try and fly my way through there, if I recall my little scout, it doesn't let you. So I need to actually wait for this to get high enough to be able to walk through. 
Hmm. As cool as a mechanic this is, it does make... Eh, I suppose you don't have to wait for too long. It's just mildly annoying, but... I could probably make it over. No, I actually can't. It won't let me. No, it actually forces you back. Yeah, man. Oh, this must sound horrible, I apologise. Come yeah, on, go with the spikes. Ow! <laughs> Alright, onwards. Hopefully I discover a quicker way down here, or can at the very least do everything I need to do on my first trip there, being this one. Fuck's sake. They had to make everything a maze on this planet, didn't they? <laughs> Hey, there we go. Away from the sandy depths. Hopefully it doesn't just fling me into ghost matter. <laughs> okay. So... It's telling us to come down here. So that's the ghost matter that I could see beforehand. Oh, this is the bridge. So there's just a tunnel. That's what the bridge is. That's neat. And I can see like other little cavern bits. Cool. Onwards. Uh, do I have my little scout with me? Yeah. Hmm. More statues of stuff. Oh. Just know my structures. Where am I going? So there used to be a tower here. That's environmental storytelling. Which I think is one of the things I like about this game the most, is just that most of its storytelling, even though there is a lot of writing, a lot of its storytelling is just environmental. Like, all the skeletons and what they're doing. Like, all the stuff you find out and about. Hello. What the hell? Um... What? Warp core? So these are warp cores. That's what... Okay, so these are like... I have a mini one of these in this, and that's what lets me recall it. And this is... Every time you do that warpy stuff, or anything does warpy stuff. That's what these things are for. Huh. So I wonder what each of these is really... For or does. And this is underneath that giant thing up there. Okay. Cool. Oh dear. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to open the door up here in case I need to go get more fuel? The hell? I think that's the sun. What? What are these? I'm assuming these are structures linked to something. But I can't tell what. Are these symbols for the planets? Like, different ones than what even these guys use. Huh. Right. Oh, wait, the door's up here. Ow. Okay. At least that's open if I need to get the fuck out. That's cool. Right. Strap in, lads. It's story time. Or learning time, one or the other. Uh, the Southern Observatory is asked if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. So they're talking about the time loop here. Um, create a 22 minute interval. So I assume they got this idea, because this is the high energy lab they built because of that tiny, tiny discrepancy when you come from Whitehall to somewhere else. There's like a one, one thousandth of a second where you arrive before you actually leave. And that's probably what put them on this idea path. 
Uh, we've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exp exponential rate. So yeah, they're literally talking about what I just explained. Uh, hypothesis creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Raimi and I believe it will be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. Uh, we would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. Hmm. So are they literally warping memories back in negative time through those Nomai statues? Uh, the energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. <laughs> My pun was unintended, Raimi, so I believe it's you who's airy form. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Their puns escape me. Currently unavailable. Okay, they're talking about energy. They're making jokes because they're scientist nerds. <laughs> uh, there was another scroll. Yeah. So are these are these the other warp towers? Because there was talk about the being like towers as such um, on Whitehall Station. It refers to itself as a tower when that's not really what it is. So I do wonder if each of these is maybe like on the planets and I've just been missing them. Let's move on. Uh, the Astron project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a new we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. Uh, what if we used warp towers like the one we have on Whitehall Station to connect each planet directly to Ash Twin? Huh. So I think that's exactly what they're doing, is what I thought of. Uh, of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. Oh, so the, warps, the warp stuff is on Ash Twin. Uh, we can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could add trees to the timber hearth tower. So, these aren't on the planets, these are over on Ash Twin. Uh, Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. Uh, this will keep us busy. So they make, they're making warp calls to go in each of these places, by the sounds of it. Huh. This place is confusing, but it is cool. Uh, I suppose I'm going to read this one here. Uh, records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Remy and I are devising an experiment to test if, if this is a real phenomenon or simply machine error. In theory, what we want to try and reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and ex exiting the white hole at its destination. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. So they're trying to figure out time travel, basically, by going back in time without properly going back in time? By using, like, negative time in a strange way. Uh, an update, our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Raimi, Yara requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. Uh, all available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raimi and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. <laughs> They're very happy about this. Uh, I saw it, Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. Uh, this is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. 
What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. These people talk weird. Ooh, I missed a bit. Uh, I'd hate to leave them in the dark. Aww. <laughs> so the, they literally rerouted all the power... I'm assuming this is just like a big solar panel, essentially. They rerouted all of the power from... from the city here to power this shit. But I don't need to ask them a damn thing. I can just power the experiment. Although I would like to know what I'm doing. This is cool. So that's... This is their symbol for like warp technology and why it's also the symbol for the black hole forge. And these are like empty cores. These are black hole cores and these are white hole cores. So they essentially made like, that's what the warp cores are. They're tiny black holes and white holes. That's kinda crazy. Insert warp core. Huh. Let's do this the way they want us to first, and then we'll fuck about with it. <laughs> so that establishes a connection, and that's how their warp technology works between the two. So I'm assuming this is... go? Boom. Oh shit. Launch scout. Boom. Oh. So I fire my scout into one, and for a split second, there's a duplicate signal. For a split second, I have two of my scouts. can't fire stuff into a white hole either, it just gets confused. <laughs> huh. That's intriguing. Uh, what's also intriguing about it is that Dark Bramble seems to have some kind of warp capacity then, because I fired my scout into that seed, and that provided a duplicate signal as well. So I do wonder if there's some <laughs> some funky, funky business going in going on in Dark Bramble, possibly because of the damaged warp core on the vessel, because they know my vessel's in there. This is cool. This is a cool way of visualising what they're trying to do. Um, so if I remove this warp core, put it back. Uh, what happens if you have two black holes? Does it just not work? Yeah, it's not a fan of that. I'm assuming empty warp cores don't do anything either. It only works between black and white. What two white holes? This is extremely neat. Huh. Quantum physics, me lad. It is cool that they just kind of made just tiny localized black holes and white holes. That's just... Everything about the Nomai is crazy. Like, how they approach things. Hmm. I want to know more... If I can. Oh, Jesus. About Ash Twins Towers. Because all of this is interesting, but... So is that... I'm assuming that's the sun station. I think. Oh, that's... Wait. That's the top down of them. Okay, it's not the symbol for the planet. It's the symbol from above, is what they look like. So that one looks like the sun from above. That one looks like... The twins? That's all I can assume. Like, nothing else is, like, hourglass-like in that way. I'm assuming that is... Hmm. I don't know what these two correspond to. Could be Brittle Hollow, I guess. This one looks like a cyclone, so I'm pretty sure that's Giant's Deep. All this is very interesting. I suppose I could, because the sand should be getting kind of high on this side now. Because it's been a while. 
but I don't think we can do too much more here. Uh, a small spoiler thing that I don't think I'm going to do right now, but I could do is I think it's one of the things I wish I hadn't heard. But I think if I fire this in here, and while there's two of them, take one of these warp cores out, I think it breaks the game, and I don't know, like possibly rolls early credits or some shit. I don't want anything to do with that just now. I actually kind of want to run across to Ash Twin and see what all that's about, but I'll probably come back here and test that now. I don't remember if that's exactly like a thing, but that sounds, that sounds like a foggy memory. So, there's probably not too much more I can do here. Where's my ship? Oh, nice. Actually, I landed the ship fairly close. I wonder what else you can do with those warp cores. Because that finally, like, properly explains to me what these things are. They're like miniaturized white holes, and the, that's what lets their warp technology work. And we have tiny ones of those in our scout launcher and in our scout even if we didn't fully understand what they were and what they were doing. I mean, it doesn't even sound like the Nomai knew exactly what they were doing. Onwards. Right. I want to go and have a look at the other twin. Oh, right. So these are the towers. So it's just a ring of towers, which makes sense because, like they say, they wanted to be able to warp to and from the places they were getting the materials to build this project. So that would be... I suppose I could just land and test it. Fuck it. We're not doing much else. I don't think we've got much time to do much else. Uh, lock on to Ash Twin. First excursion to this weird fucker planet. <laughs> Let's land on top of this tower. Down, boy. Thank you. Uh, da -da -da, fuel. Thank you. Yeah, because these are the black holes, and that's just a. Wait. Are they? Wait. What? So, that's another way down, but you can't go up it. Uh, hi. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wow. <laughs> There's been so many times in this game where I've been, like, completely dumbstruck by what I'm looking at. And that was one of those times. That was incredible. Ah, here's the entrance. Yeah. What? Are these... These aren't skeletons. Can I crouch? What? These are like... So these are like the... No, my spacesuits. They're like weathered, sure, but these are recent. Like they've got to be. Like these are the only things I've ever found that haven't been like skeletons of these guys. Why's my ship flying away? Oh, my ship got taken by the sand. <laughs> That's weird. That's cool. So these are these are the warp points. These are the black holes. So the black holes are where you have to start. I know that it charges return energy. This explains a lot. Because this means that I was right from Whitehall Station about there being more to these things, but I, I did I thought I'd be able to redirect uh, Whitehall Station's like target planet when I'm assuming that once this thing lines up with Giant's Deep, which is coming up. I'm going to test this hypothesis real quick, even though I'm pretty sure it explains it pretty explicitly. As soon as we line up with Giant's Deep, off we go. And now we're here. 
and then it's charged for a return journey. I'm still like shook that there's like almost recently alive Nomai. I was thinking about this when editing the footage as well though, that the like probe cannon fires um, because it gets a signal. Like it explains like on the probe cannon itself that like it received a signal s so many minutes ago. Um, so something had to be sending that signal and I thought beforehand that it was just like an automated signal. Like just something sending it out like at the start of each loop, but no. I think I think there might have been a live Nomai sending that signal to it. I've I've not got enough time to read any of this properly. <laughs> Some time has passed since I checked in with Yupai. How are you and Adia progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you and I don't find that very f you know I don't find that very funny. <laughs> How curious, Remy thinks I'm a gas. <laughs> I don't know what they mean by that, but I'm assuming it's just funny. Uh, and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna have to come back here and read this. This is fascinating. Take me! So, that was incredible in a lot of ways. Uh, that might be one of my favourite, like, laps I've done so far, but... I feel like everything I did previously leading up to that had to have happened for everything here to make sense to me. Can you imagine coming here first? I imagine some people have, because you can go anywhere. But man, going there with no context to anything must be so confusing. And it'd probably lessen the shock factor of finding what I can only assume is like very recently deceased Nomai. Because like I say, something's got to be sending the signal to that to fire it. And that's why the minute's 22 minutes long, is because we know that that thing goes as far as it can, as long as it can. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, we're going to continue this shit. I ain't done yet.